Alright, so hey everybody, Leonair, also known as Q, on the internet, and today I'm going to do a how to use the Homido VR gear. And, um, I mean, I tried it out for a little bit and it's pretty fun. Uh, you need to get two things. You need to get or a, a cable, uh, a USB cable for your Android or a, a, a iPhone, whatever. Or not, what you want. And you want to download the app Trinus VR. It's 7 euros in store. And you can get it for free on the, the computer because you need it on your phone and also on your computer. And then it's actually pretty easy because there are some things you need to know. Uh, you can connect your phone through a cable, but you can also set up uh, some sort of uh, a little network on uh, Trinus itself on your computer and then have a wireless way. I, I do it wireless because for some reason uh, the, the cable doesn't work for me anymore. I tried it, uh, first of all, it worked, but then I did it the same again and then it didn't work so I tried it with the um, uh, I tried with the uh, 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 wireless and it didn't work so I'm going to switch over to my computer and I'll show you how it works alright so as you can see right here I got Trinus beta and uh, it's on my computer there's this, this square right here if you click on the uh, the gears right here you will get like fast uh, ways to um, uh, to do your options for the VR I always have it on track ER because uh, it's still like a little bit buggy if you have the um, the other ones because then you can uh, move your head you know it's like this these are ones uh, so that you can move your head and stuff but because I still have a mouse it tracks both of them so it it, it gets kind of uh, you know it gets kind of weird when you do that so um, I always have it on uh, track IR and that, that just works fine for me. I got the sensitivity a little bit higher um, for when I do that, you know, it, I have noticed that it's just like really weird sensitivity when I, um, I'm on another another one. Uh, videos on fast, uh, quality is ultra, uh, uh, this is still something I don't know. So first we're going to do the Wi-Fi and what you want to do with the Wi-Fi is well right here you can switch between USB and Wi-Fi you will want to have to have it on Wi-Fi you go to advanced mode this little thing will pop up and you go to network so um, I stop this hotspot right here this is where you can make your own little hotspot with um, uh, an SSE ID and a uh, password and what you want to do is uh, you just you, you can just keep it like this just pretty easy then you know at least that you're uh, correct you start the Wi-Fi hotspot so now there should be a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot hotspot available um, when you go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone so I'll do that really quickly just to see if it's there so as you can see the hotspot is available I'll, I'll click on it and because I already have like the password installed it's really easy normally it asks if you uh, want to do a password well, then you just click in the password that you chose. For this instance, it's my password. Um, I connect, and then it should connect. There you go. It's uh, it says for bonden, which means that we are connected. Yes. After that, you want to open the app on your phone, right here. It brings you to this. And you click on, uh, on the triangle over here. So we're back at the computer. Um, we just clicked on the triangle on the phone. And what you want to do now is go, uh, go back to basic mode. And you click on the triangle right here. As you can see, um, the phone has changed. It has two screens right now. So which means that we can put it in the device and uh, we have 3D effects and stuff and we can uh, do our thing so what we want to do now is uh, I'm gonna open a game and uh, what you want to do actually is you want to have to game in windowed mode then you only have to uh, uh, be inside of the game and um, it will all be alright you can play the game so as you can see I have the game now in windowed mode and as you can see as well it's also on the phone right now. So we're gonna wait, there's the Nvidia thing Nvidia. right there. And then here we go. The game. So now we can just click it in and uh, we can go start play Borderlands uh, with a um, 
with a VR device. So yeah, that's basically how it works. So now we're in game, and um, as you can see, you can just do that. The pity is that is now that we just we we can like move it move it around or anything to see. But um, I will show you guys what will happen if you do that right now. I will I will show you guys. All right, so. Um, Turning it off, it's really easy, you don't have to do anything with your uh, your mobile phone anymore, you just have to click once, once you have uh, started it up all and you have, you have it working. Uh, you can just leave your phone right now in your uh, in your uh, uh, homey dough and you don't have to remove it. You just have to click it once and then your homey dough will start up again. Just normal, just fine. Alright, so this happens when you have it on uh, auto, I just put the tracking on auto and uh, as you can see it spaces out a little bit and uh, that's why I still don't enjoy it. I mean, you can move your head around, so I mean that, that's sort of possible. Uh, it still doesn't work really well though, it's not really tracking anything. What it does is that it's, um, your phone becomes the, the mouse, so when you move your, your head the mouse will follow. Also, I, I try to uh, uh, disconnect my own mouse, but that doesn't seem to work as well. Also, because uh, then I can't shoot or anything, or I should like do it on uh, um, I don't know on the keyboard, like everything. But that's just not really really working too well. So yeah, that that this is why I have it on tracking IR. Uh, I recommend that for the first time. I mean, it's like. It's really experimenting, like it's really experimenting on how to use it. This is uh, this is like how far I got already, and I hope I uh, I've helped you guys with this. So uh, so yeah, there you go. All right then. So this was my uh, how to use the Homido video. Also, a good thing to know is that uh, when I first tried it, um, um, it's not the best quality. So I mean, I have tried to. Oculus Rift and it sat very well on my head but um, this uh, this piece is actually uh, it has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, bad material stuff I mean it's really cheap plastic and also the sponge surrounding it I mean it's okay but it's not like the best it's like you feel the sharp edges of plastic and which is really annoying so as you can see already I, um, I had a fake mustache and I actually I uh, put that on the uh, on the sharp edges around the nose so that it feels a little bit better so yeah good thing to know that that it's actually pretty sharp on your nose put something there I I, I did a fake mustache you can get those like at a at a, at a store whatever for, for two euros it's like really cheap stuff and um, I mean I don't know if you guys have like the the HEMA uh, we got the HEMA in the Netherlands it's, it's, it's really pretty funny so uh, it's, it's like a clothing store and, uh, and an everything you want store and uh, it's some sort of Walmart. Probably go, go check on Walmart, they probably have some vague mustaches there. Cut them in half and put them on the edges. It's like, I mean, Oculus Rift is way better when I tried it though, but this piece is actually, um, uh, what I love about it is, is that, that it's cheap, 70 euros, it's okay for a, um, a VR device. And it's just really fun to experiment with. So yeah, I also downloaded some apps to uh, to see how that is, and it's actually pretty good. Um, also, I'm gonna try some more experimenting with this. I'm probably going to play some Slender. And when I got my Steam controller, I will try to buy that as well and see if I actually can move my head then better with a uh, with the controller. Yeah. So that's basically all. I covered everything. So uh, this was my uh, how to use the Homido and uh, my review video on the Homido. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Alright, goodbye!